Hey guys. Uh, Jim Bounds at Motorhome Rehab Ranch. And uh, can't go outside and glue today because it say won't get it, it's going to stay in the 50s. So, but we're inside the ranch here. So I'll be able to maybe feel a little warm in a minute. Whew. Okay. Happy cold day. Let you guys know up north, I know that we're not even close to what you're at, but I still feel some pain. Well, I can't do the next step that I wanted to show you with the, uh, with the walls, but I want to back up a minute and talk a little bit about the materials, okay? When I say the materials, into producing this, okay? <coughs> and then what's next? Now, this material, I, you know, we talked about, it's kind of cute. You can use most anything. You can use a vinyl, you can use a cloth material, um, whatever you want to use. And you saw how we glued it down, all right? The material, the glue. Uh, well, in here, this is weld wood. It's made by DAP. Contact adhesive, Landau top and trim, HHR solvent, spray glue, spray glade, commercial grade. You say five gallons. Ugh, it's a lot of glue. <clears throat> kind of reminds you of uh, that movie uh, <coughs> with the tunes and tune dip. But what you're going to find is that you'll use, you're going to do your interior. You're going to use this, and so we're going to use it. We're going to spray it all through all the materials. It doesn't matter if we see it. And uh, so buying it five gallons, this is $165. But you need a high temperature range contact adhesive for all your woods, your materials, just about everything. So I would get that. <coughs> Excuse me. This foil is chrome mylar bubble foil. It has a layer of air bubbles in here, which is air is a great insulator. <coughs> and chrome mylar plastic reflects off. So it's a wonderful material. Got it at Home Depot. I'll show you a picture of the gentleman that uh, guided me over to it. The reason I got it at Home Depot, and I explained this before, but it comes in huge rolls commercially. The dimensional weight of that uh, is so expensive that shipping is crazy. We found over the years that we were able to buy it at Lowe's for the little bout we're doing and the coach we're doing and actually be cheaper. Okay, so Lowe's was the winner there, but I have to tell you that Lowe's did not exceed my expectations unfortunately, for the uh, divider bar. <clears throat> I found the divider bar at Home Depot. $3.58 $3 for a 96-inch stick of this stuff, and it's all that we're going to need. Okay? Piece of cake. How do you cut it? You take your handy-dandy Olfa knife, Slit it once, it'll snap. Slit the back end again, it snaps again, and there it is. Piece of cake. And as you saw, I covered, I shot some glue on the face of this, cut it a little bit wide, and then stuffed it in the H molds, which made this a nice, real nice trim. <clears throat> now this is the material that I've been waiting on. Come on in here and take a look at this. This is the bulb trim seal. And I found this stuff, believe it or not, at Granger. They sell it in 25 foot uh, rolls of it. I think it was like uh, 35 or $40, something like that. 
A 25 foot roll will do <clears throat> the large window and the A frame window. And you say, well, What's the A frame window? And why do you need it? All right, here is the driver's side. This is the A frame window, you know, and this is your big window. Now, when you put that in there, and I'm going to show you this on the next video, you can look behind it. And what do you see? You'll see the frame of the glass. You'll see a little bit of body behind there. You'll see the insulation, right? Okay. That's where this bulb trim seal comes in. This stuff goes right on the edge of your panel. Sticks right on. And now what have you got? You got a gimp. You can't see behind it. And the window will come right to it. Look at the finish. Zoom. Beautiful. Okay. This material will go here. And when we get the window covered, it will also go on this side. Like this. It goes right on top of that H mold. It'll go right on out here, and it'll go all the way around the window. And what that will give you, again, is a, is a gimp. It will go from one inch to an eighth of an inch. So you can't see behind the frame, behind the uh, panel. That's what this stuff's for. And actually, this stuff that I got at, at Granger is a larger bulb than what we were using at, uh, at uh, Co-op. I really, really like this stuff. Come on in here and take a look at the, this, this cross section. You've got your bulb trim seal. Got that H mold right in here that was covered with the material. Then you have the insulation sticking out. The next panel will go on here. Hang on a second. I have it, but I don't have it covered yet. <clears throat> Let's see. It is this one. This panel will go right into here, and it'll be covered, right? Now, this piece will start in the middle, come on around. Oh, look at that. Nice and clean. Isn't that going to be a nice look, huh? Right? Can't see behind it. So this is where we're going. Now, this material that I'm using <coughs> here is new to what we did at co-op. Right? So you guys that have some of our coaches, what we used was a quarter inch rigid H mold. Take a look at the cross section of this. Okay. This would bend and give me the bow, but I really do think on my coach, we're going to try to use this stuff and not this. Now, we use this on the headliner to keep that bow in the corner, but I'm thinking that this might even do that too. So you want to follow me and see. This uh, H mold is we used this since Clasco days, since early '90s, and uh, it works very well. I found this at Home Depot, believe it or not. And the cool thing, I always had mine in uh, in uh, mill finish or silver, and if I wanted it black, then I would just cover it with a piece of pinstripe tape, right? Well, they have it in black. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they didn't have a couple of pieces. You'll probably have to special order it. They may have a few pieces of it. They had, they had three pieces of black, two pieces of uh, clear. Okay, so uh, follow me if we continue to use this stuff, our, our source is Home Depot, as this stuff is also Home Depot. Okay, <clears throat> three eighty. This was $17 for a stick of it, a 96-inch stick, which <clears throat> is about right. This is $3.58. 
Big promise. I like this stuff. This uh, bulb seal trim comes in 25 foot rolls. I believe it was like 35 or 40 bucks. But that trims out all your windows real nice. Also, this goes around your door, around the door frame as kind of a wind lace. When the door shuts, this will this will help uh, knock any of the wind whistling. Great stuff. So the next video we're going to do is going to be covering these pieces. Here's the back piece, driver's side rear. We're going to cover that piece. We're going to install all of that, and we're going to install the uh, bulb seal trim. So that should be a lot of fun. That'll be, uh, that'll be that section will be complete. And then we're going to start moving on to the galley. I hope this has been um, interesting to you. Uh, this really are the, these are the basics of how the entire coach goes in. We talked about that before. So from this point on, you watch me put it all together. Now there's going to be some discovery on the overhead galley, the uh, new microwave. <clears throat> That's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, and then the galley backsplash. I like to do something different. I'm not going to use this this material <coughs> on the galley because you don't want to get it wet or splash or anything like that. But you know how, how hot riders say, oh, I want to build, build something different. Well, I do too. So the galley backsplash is something that can be really, really unique. And I want to start looking around for some neat stuff. All right? You guys watch for that. Hope you learned something. If you did, please hit like. Give me some comments on Patreon. And uh, thanks for your support, and we'll see you next time.